Hi everyone, let's get started. Let's bring our arms back and forth. So we're just going to stretch it out a little bit, do some range of motion exercises to get warmed up and then we'll get into the workout. And one more time. And let's bring the arms overhead, deep breath in and breathing out. Deep breath in. Let's do that one more time. Let's keep the arms here at the side and let's just do little circles. And making those circles a little bit bigger and going in the other direction. And let's make the circle smaller. Good, let's just bring the hands together, press the hands forward and bringing the arms back for a stretch. Let's rotate the wrists and the other direction. Sitting back in your chair, bringing one foot up, trying to get that leg as straight as you can, and then the other side. So straight leg. One more time on each side. All right, let's go into a calf raise, lifting those heels up and down. Now let's bring those hands into it, bringing the hands up and down. Nice deep breaths at the same time. And let's do one more. Good. Okay, let's just bring the hands forward as if we're swimming. So really stretch those hands forward. And then let's just bring the hands up to the side here, bring the elbows and the hands together. And back. And one more. Good, now keeping the arms in this position, you're just gonna drop the hands down. So look at your arms, make sure they're in the right position. You want a 90 degree angle here. You're just gonna bring the hands up. Try and bring them back as far as you can to feel that in your upper back and down. So back, squeeze that back and down. Three, going up to six, four, five, and six. Good, let's bring one arm overhead and we're just gonna pull down and press up. So really flex those muscles, pull and press as if there's a super heavy weight there. Pull and press. Let's do two more. Switching to the other side, bringing that hand up and pull. Press, pull. Last one, good. Okay, grab onto your weights. We're warmed up now, we can do a little bit more with our weights, so anywhere between a one and a five pound weight, depending on what you're uh, able to use and what you're used to. Let's have the hands down at the side, bring the arms up, going forward and down. Up, forward and down. Two more, and one more. Let's bring the hands back, or the elbows back, and forward. Two more. Good, dropping the hands down, bringing them up into a bicep curl overhead, and down. Three more. Last one. Good, okay, let's uh, get into a bit of a march here. Now you can just have the weights on your hips here. We're just gonna walk it out. Not on your hips, on your thighs. <laughs> Okay, let's pick up that pace a little bit. 
So let's do a little bit of a run here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Relax those feet. Let's punch that out. And let's go back into a walk. And let's pick up that pace. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax those feet and punch it out again. So go at your own pace here. If this is too fast for you, just slow it down. And back into that walk and run it out. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, let's lean forward, having our weights in front. We are going to lift the elbows up to the ceiling, squeeze that upper back, and down. Two. Four. So really squeeze that back as you bring that weight up. Let's do two more. Excellent. Now staying in this position, you're leaning forward. We're just going to bring those arms up and back down. Ready? Up and down. Let's do two more. Excellent. So we're still leaning forward, back is flat. So really stick your chest out so your back flattens out, okay? You want your back to be flat here, you don't want it to be curved. So flat back, weights are at the shoulders. We're just pressing that weight back. Flex or tighten your tricep here. So as that weight goes back, you're squeezing or flexing that tricep back to the shoulder. I'll turn to the side so you can see. So flexing, hold, three two, one, bring the weight back to the shoulder and squeeze. Three, two, one, back to the shoulder. Squeeze, three, two, one. This is where your triceps are really working when you're holding that squeeze, you're flexing back to the shoulder. Again, squeeze, hold, back to the shoulder. Squeeze, three, two, one. Squeeze, three, two, one. Sitting up straight, good. Let's go back into that bicep curl. We are going to do a calf raise here as you lift the weight up, back to the shoulder and down. All right, staying in this position, let's bring the hands forward this time. We're gonna go out and down. So see how my hand position is different this time? Going forward, out, and down. Let's do two more. This is five. And six. Excellent. All right, let's put those weights down. We're gonna sit on the edge of our chair. We're doing an abdominal exercise here. So you're just gonna lean back into the chair and then make your abs tighten up as you come forward. So breathing out. Back and breathing out. Let's do this 10 times. This is four. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. So remaining on the edge of your chair, it really makes a difference. You really have to sit on the edge of the chair. You don't get that, the, uh, the, sit, the exercise it won't be as beneficial for your abs. So sitting on the edge of your chair, we're leaning back into our chair now. So you have that space in between your back. Um, you're going to bring a knee up. As you bring that foot down, you're breathing out and going very slowly. So ready? So going down slowly, 
uh, making your abs really tight here and down to the floor, other side. So up, breathing out. Good, other side again. Up, breathing out. Let's do one more on each side. Perfect, okay, sitting up. So bringing yourself back up, sitting back in your chair, let's work on our legs. Now, if you can do sit to stands, I highly encourage you to do them instead of doing uh, the leg extensions. I'll stay in the seat though, just because it is a seated class. So I'll remain in the chair just so you can follow along. But while we're bringing a foot up, if you can, I'd like you to stand up instead and then sit down, okay? That gives your legs a little bit more of a workout or much more of a workout and it's super beneficial to gain that strength in your legs. For the rest of us, if we're in our chair, we're just gonna bring one foot up. We're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, one, and down. Other side, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Now this time when you bring the foot up, flex that foot. Okay, now you'll feel that more in your quad and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Other side, flex that foot, feel that muscle here in that leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Other side again. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. One, this time we're gonna raise the knee. So raise one knee up and down. Five on each side, this is three, four. Now we're gonna make it a little bit harder. This is five. Now bring that knee up, kick out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Two, and down two, three, four. Last time on each side. All right, let's get back into a walk. So let's try and bring that heart rate up a little bit. We're gonna do some cardio here. And let's run. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and going back into a march. And run. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, back into a march. So go at whatever pace works for you. Try and go as fast as you can. You definitely wanna try and get that heart rate up here. And let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now let's do a bit of a heel tap. If you can bring your arms into it, let's bring the hands forward. If that's too much for you, then just uh, focus on the feet. Okay, now let's just try to bring our arm out to the side. Let's think of it as a jumping jack, but we're just doing one at a time. If this is too easy, you can bring both legs and both arms at the same time. And going back into that front press. So heels again. You may need to sit out a little bit on your chair, depending on how deep your chair is. If your chair is deep, then definitely sit on the edge to make it easier for yourself. You'll get more of a workout actually that way. Okay, let's raise the arms overhead, keeping with that heel tap. Nice deep breath in and breathing out. Back into a march. 
and let's run it out. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Okay, if you can, let's bring our feet out and in. Now here we're working our abdominals again. You can hold them to the side if you wish. So hold on and in. If that's too hard, just bring one foot out at a time. Keeping your abs tight. Okay, let's relax the legs. Let's bring the arms out to the side. Let's go into our circles. So let's try and tire out our arms a little bit here. You can use weights if you wish, but you probably don't need them. I'll let you make that decision. Let's make the circles a little bit bigger. Let's switch that direction. And smaller circles. And let's go into our letter C. So it's like you're drawing a C. Now if you want, you could march here if you want to get a little bit more of a workout. And let's do flappy birds. So it's just like we're flapping our wings. Now you should be feeling this in your shoulders. Let's bring those hands together. Now we're gonna press those hands back. So push them back and forward. So press and forward. So at any time, if you need a break, just take that break and then bring your arms back up again when you're ready. Let's bring those arms up overhead and down. So press and pull. And one more. Good, let's press in front and pull. Let's do five more, five, four. Three, two, and one. Now this is kind of your end, your finishing one. You're having the hands here, so it's like they're at a 90 degree, and you're just pulsing. So just bring them up and down. Now I want you to hold this as long as you can. You know what, let's uh, change it up a bit. Let's bring one leg up. Switch sides. Take the focus on those off those arms so you're not thinking about them as much. Other side, other foot, if you can coordinate that. Good for the brain as well. Other side, other foot. Sticking with the arms if you can manage it. Other side. Last time on the other side. Relax those arms, good work. Just swing the arms back and forth, loosen them up. Let's go back into a walk. And a run, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and walk it out. And let's punch forward again. So here, keep those abs tight. Punch at whatever speed works for you. Flex those abs. Let's go back into that walk. And going as fast as you can. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, and one, and punch it out again. And let's punch up a little bit. Coming forward again. Let's do one more run. So first of all, walking. 
picking up that pace and go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Last punching out. Kind of just goes with the music. Okay, let's go back to our legs. So let's do a few more strengthening exercises. Again, if you can here, do the sit to stands. You're standing up, sitting down, working those legs really hard. Otherwise, we're bringing one foot up, squeezing, concentrating on tightening, flexing that foot. Now you should feel the quads here. You should feel that muscle really flex. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Other side, flex that foot. Five, four, three, two, one one and down other side again really concentrate squeeze and down five four three two one let's work those calves again lifting those heels up and down let's do a bicep curl at the same time flexing those biceps and down three four five six Keep going. Now let's do our triceps again. Hands are here. You're bringing those hands back. Sometimes you don't even need weight. So when you bring that hand back, I want you to hold that squeeze in the back of your arm. So really hold that for five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Hands back at the shoulders. Let's do a calf raise at the same time. Hold five, four, three, two, one one back to the shoulder and squeeze so when i say squeeze you are tightening the back of your arms when your your arms are straight right now and you are flexing your triceps my hands are not just sitting here they are working back to the shoulder flex tighten five four three two one let's do two more five four three two one last one Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent, let's do a bit of a lower back exercise. We are just going to go down and concentrate on your lower back, bringing you back up to a straight position. So down and up. Breathing in and out. This is four. Let's do three more. Last one. Okay, next one, we're gonna have one arm up, one knee up, and then we're alternating. So stretch those arms back as much as you can. This is also challenging your balance. Let's do a few more. Last one. Good. Okay, let's have the arms in front. We're gonna bring our elbows back and now I want you to really squeeze those elbows back Feel that in your upper back and hold for three, two, one, and just relax the arms for a minute. Arms up again, elbows here, squeeze. Three, two, one, and relax. Taking a deep breath in and breathing out. All right, again, elbows up, squeeze them back and hold. Let's do it for five, four, Three, two, one. Good. Okay, let's just do one more uh, abdominal exercise. So let's bring the arms up to the side. We're just gonna bring an elbow towards the knee. It doesn't need to touch. And then the other side. So working on our, building our core here.
One more time on each side. Excellent. All right, let's go into our stretching. We're gonna bring our hands together. We're gonna to press them in front, feeling that in your upper back. Taking a nice deep breath in and breathing out. Let's bring the hands back, feeling that in your chest and in your arms. Pressing the hands to the walls. Let's reach one arm overhead as high as you can to the ceiling. And let's just stretch the arms to the side, feeling that down your side. And the other side, arms go up. And then stretching to the side. in front, crossing the arm in front of your body and pulling that arm in for a shoulder stretch. Switching to the other side, arm goes up, pull, pulling in front. Stretch out the triceps. Arm goes up. Just drop the hand behind as if you're patting yourself on the back and then press the elbow back a little bit. You may already feel the stretch without having to press the arm back. Other side, bring the arm up. Drop the hand behind, pressing that elbow back. And let's bring one leg in front. We are going to just flex that foot, so feeling that stretch in the back, your leg and your calf. Uh, pointing the toes forward. Bringing that foot down, other side. So flexing that foot. And then pointing away. Now for the next few, if you can, we're just gonna sit on the edge of the chair, bring one leg in front, trying to get it as straight as you can, the other leg is bent. We're just gonna relax on the, one, on the bent knee or the bent leg and try and get this leg as straight as you can and lean down so you feel a really nice stretch all through your leg and in by your knee. Holding that stretch, just relaxing here for about 20 seconds. And let's switch to the other side. And coming out of that stretch. So here you can either cross the legs and lean forward or if you're able to, bring your ankle onto your knee and then lean forward. This is a great stretch for your hip and your lower back and your glutes. So holding in that, staying in that stretch. And coming out of it, switching to the other side. And coming out of that one. Let's just finish with a few, with a, a neck stretch, just dropping the ear down to the shoulder. rolling the head forward and then over to the other side. Finishing with one last deep breath, taking a deep breath in and breathing out. And that is it. 
Thank you for joining me, everyone. I hope you have a great day. Bye for now.